Hello everyone, Ultrawave 7 here, once more in Fallout 4. And I think, since we're dressed for success, let's go do some Shroud missions, shall we? So, first mission. Galaxy News Radio. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode, A Slaying in Scully Square. Okay. Just uh, down this alley. Well, well, well. Looks like someone got lost on the wrong side of the tracks. <laughs> yeah, wrong side of the tracks. I I'm just meeting a friend. No business of yours. Uh, perhaps I'll just call him. Now, if, if you'll excuse me. Not so fast, fancy pants. Your wallet and that snazzy briefcase you're carrying. Hand them over, now. I most certainly will not. Do you have any idea who... Oh, okay, we'll see if... Uh... Oh, jeez Louise, why'd you go and do that? Oh, Calling all Silver Shroud fans. A once-in-a-lifetime announcement. Now, I know you all the Silver Shroud returns, set, and he's gonna clean up the streets. Forget what matters. Everyone hey, heard Daisy. how Wayne Delancey murdered How's Miss Selmy and her kid Didn't I see over a few lousy caps. The other day. Huh. Death he is wishes. coming for you, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. We're getting off track. What was I saying? Oh, that's right. What matters? We freaks gotta stick together. And the best way to stick together is to keep an eye out for what drives us apart. You feel me? Yeah, you tell it like it is, Hancock. Now, what out there in our big, friendly commonwealth would want to drive us apart? What kind of twisted, unneighborly boogeyman would want to hurt our peaceful community? Uh, their sin. That's right. Who said that? Coming up to my office later. You've earned yourself some jet. The Institute. Whoa. They're the real enemy. Yeah, not the Raiders, sure. Not the super mutants. Not even those tools over in Diamond City. You sure. I don't know, Hancock. I'd sure love to give McDonough a kick in the ass. Hey, we all you know, know I got my own. Is? I'm not buying that. We come I'm focused. Peace malarkey. Now, I want everyone Shush. to keep the Institute oh. in hey, Nick. Mind. When someone, someone starts him? acting oh, funny. When people are doing things they don't normally do. When family starts pushing you away for no reason. We all know who's behind that kind of shit. And the only way to stop it is to stick together. They yeah. can't control us if we're not afraid. Right. Now, who's scared of the Institute? Not, not me. At which town in the Commonwealth should the Institute not fuck with? Uh, good neighbor, yeah. And who's in charge of good neighbor? Hancock! Of the Master Yeah. Hey, uh, no judgments. Brotherhood of Steel. Ain't that Better a stay show? out of good neighbor. Ever been to what kill I'm or be killed? I'm saying. Some nope. fine looking weapons. Cool. Thanks. Great. Alright, let's, uh. Now that the fun speech is over, let's go to. places. Things. The Silver Shroud. Okay, kill Wayne. What? You dry? Head over to the third rail. Come on, Nick. Now I've seen a lot of crazy Sleuthing. stuff in my time, but right a here? flying ship? <laughs> Yowza. That was pretty awesome. Are you going to hang out in the lobby all day again? Or are you actually going to go oh, down what was behind and do work? Hotel. Being available to the customers is work. All right. It's not all about cooking chems, Claire. It's not all about sampling those chems either. Maybe if you stop using. Taking a break over there? What? Where's the fun in cooking it? I if just clean up around it? here. My all mistake. Right. Oh man, someone new. You hey. need some jet, man? Home brewed, reasonable prices. Jet. What's jet? You don't know. Uh -uh. It's the best. It just. Hypercharges everything. Like you got the speed of ten men in one inhaler. Whoa. You have any work? Yeah, actually, you might be perfect. You know the gunners, right? 
Jerks. The high-end mercenaries? Well, a few of them were talking Being about jerks. scavenging around that old hallucinogen building. I mean, just think about that name. There's gotta be some shit there that's out of this world. You get me something, I pay you 200 caps. Uh, sure. All right, Fred. We have a deal. You're the best. The absolute best. All right. There. Hey there. Hey, You're new around good neighbor, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. What do you think of the place? Uh, hey. You want me to answer you or not? It's changed a lot since the last time I was here. Been here before. Well, good neighbors definitely come up in the past few years. Mostly since Hancock took over. Name's Rufus. I do repairs around here. Keep the robots running, sell a bit of scrap, that sort of thing. I'm usually here or drinking that swill Charlie slinging at the third rail. Looking for parts? I also might have a job for you if you're interested. Ooh, work. Could I could use work, depending on what it is. Don't know if you've had the beer down at the third rail, but I swear Charlie must have found it in a sewer. Found this hollow tape while doing repairs at the Rexford. Delivery notice for a brewing machine. Okay. Pre-war. Thing is, it was never delivered. Well, with all the bombs and all. Done some asking around, and I think it might still be intact. Which is where you come in. Ah. Uh, what's the catch? What's the catch? The usual. Place it's in as an empty. Might have to shoot your way in. Oh, easy, think you easy. can get a hold of that brewing machine for me? Sure. I'm in. Let's do it. Great. So... The brewing machine is in the basement of an old bar called the Shamrock Tap House. When you leave town, make your way around east till you hit Atlantic. Great big grain sign. Bring it back here when you're done. Okie dokie. Uh. Before you even start, let's get to the point. We have rooms, one room specifically. Payment due up front. Can you tell me a bit about this hotel? Oh, why do they always have questions? <laughs> the Hotel Rexford used to be a grand establishment. We even had guests that didn't throw up all over the floor. Fancy. But now the only people who come by are looking for somewhere to nurse a hangover or shoot up chems. Uh, so, still want a room? Not right now. I don't think so. Mark another in the moocher column. Moocher? My name's not Minnie. All right. Okay, behind the hotel. Can't believe it. You look just like Sammy too. What happened? Sure as hell didn't act like him. Institute thinks they can replace people with synths in this town. They got another thing hey, coming. Boss, anything you can't haul, what am I gonna tell his mother? Hey, just your friendly neighborhood watch, shooting down Institute spies as they crop up. What happened here? Ah, poor Sammy got snatched up by the Institute. Then those bastards send this low-rent double in his place. It's pathetic. They didn't make it two days before everyone realized something was wrong with him. Then we made the call, and here we are. Speaking of which, I gotta figure out where this body needs to get dumped. Why don't you get going? Got a reason to be bothering me? I just had to shoot up a synth body snatcher over here. All right, I'm going. You stay close to you and yours now. They start acting weird. You get that gut punch that says they've been replaced, you don't know what to do. Yeah, blam, straight in the head. Not so scary now. Except huh? for you, Nick, because you're not a replicant. Ooh, yes. Okay, back here then. Yo, asshole McGee. <clears throat> What's with the fancy duds? Looks expensive. Might be I found a new friend. Yeah, friend. Your crimes have gone unpunished for too long. What the hell's wrong with you? Well, nothing a few bullets won't cure. You mess with me? Hey! Ah, got my arm! Ah. Did good. Ah. Jerk. Whoa. I got one flying. Alright, here. Kill the drifter. What a jerk. Alright, so let me take these. And we'll leave the calling card. Hey, calling card. 
Nice. Uh, who throws out a fusion core? I mean, seriously. Who does that? Galaxy News! Radio! Radio. Friend of the show, Jerry, is here. Is this thing on? Hello? Hello? It's on. <laughs> yeah, it's on, Jerry. We're Jerry. recording in here. Aw, oh, man. What's that all about? Great. Great. The Silver Shroud's dispatched justice already. Miss Selmy has been avenged. Shit, the Shroud off Wayne? Wait, so this guy's actually for real? Yeah. Oh, you better believe it. So, Jerry, go on. Tell the listeners about what we're talking about. Right. Hi, so, mister. So, AJ, hey, kid. you know the chem dealer by Bobby's. He's doing good for himself. Says he's got a whole new market. Kids. Even what? with his garbage chems, he's just raking in the caps. You hear that? Oh, that sounds cool. like the Silver Shroud has another bad guy to deal with. Uh, why? This Shroud guy, he's gonna muscle in on the chem trade now? No. He's gonna do something about it. AJ's selling the kids, and his chems have k killed people. And? I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. We can't let AJ kill kids. Whatever. It's a great show you got there. Galaxy News Radio! Okay. Yo, ass hat. hands where I can see them. Yeah. Hey, look at the clown. This is my turf, clown. And I don't appreciate what you call them trespasses. Selling chems to kids? Peddling poison to kids, are we? Today, you face the Silver Shroud! Uh, <laughs> who you say? Oh, for Christ's sake. Did Kent put you up to this? He keeps moaning about the poor little kids. What the hell, right? Tell you what. I'll pay you, let's say, 50 caps just to shut up about it. And uh, maybe get Kent off my back. All right? What? Stop selling to children, a miscreant, <laughs> or face my wrath. Uh, you're through, son. Screw you. Waste the free. Bye. <laughs> Nick, get this guy. Oh, you don't. God damn. Oh, no, 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 no. Shroud can't die. That'd be anticlimactic. Oh, I gotta reload. Hang on. That's better. Right. Cap. Oh, someone should make use of it. All right. What do you got? Nice. Alright. Card left. There it is. It fell out of his butt. Good enough. Let's go. Next. Galaxy News Radio. The Silver Shroud's bringing justice to Good Neighbor. You bad guys Holy better look moly, out. The Silver Shroud and now, a special flesh. update. Oh, the villainous no. assassin Death Kendra was recently spotted me. at the third rail. The same Kendra who bombed little Joe Shack and killed four innocent drifters. If you want to see the Silver Shroud in action, stay near Whitechapel Charlie. The Shroud's sure to interrogate him to find the evildoer's whereabouts. Galaxy yep. News Radio. That's what we'll do. All right, ne'er do wells. Hello. Hancock says newcomers are. Welcome in the third rail. Thank Going you. Going in. Very nice. What? Another one of you mercs looking for McCready? He's in the back room. 
the corner. I wasn't, but thanks. Might wave a plan. You look like one of them wankers from the posters. What you wearing that for? I'm the shroud. You look upon the silver shroud. I seek a miscreant named Kendra. A shroud then? More like a nutter. Kendra is not one to be trifled with. People associated with her have a habit of being found face down in a ditch. If you're set on meeting her, for a fee it can be arranged. Fee? It is not wise to stand between the Silver Shroud and righteous justice. <laughs> justice? <laughs> you mean to end her? In that case, her flat's just south of Good Neighbor. Water Street Apartments. Look out for the blighters she's got with her. Nasty piece of business, that. Good luck. Thank you. You We need to have a conversation. What? But if you're You've got my attention. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. Right. From what I hear, you may fit the bill. What's the job? I don't know yet. Whatever needs to be done once my boss has had a look at you, I can assure you that it will be dangerous. And that you'll be paid fairly. I live for danger. Where do I sign up? I like your enthusiasm. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. Alrighty. Somebody else. So sit right. down your pretty baby. Come on, Nick, we gotta go. All right. To the apartments. I'm just gonna clean up this trash. Right. So, our miscreant is over this way, it seems. Wait, this way? Let's look. Ah. Perfect. So, that means we're gonna go this way, I believe. Building is down this way, I think. Ah, uh, yes, here we go. Hey, Nick. Here it is. Hearing shit. Yeah, you're hearing your death. That's the shit you're hearing. Yeah. Nick, get a gun. Hey, asshole. Oh, God. Yeah, you're losing everyone. Wouldn't want it going to waste now, would we? Nope. Machete. I'm just getting started. Are you now? Isn't that oh, great? Man, come back. I was having fun. I didn't go anywhere, dummy. Pork and beans. I like beans. Alright, let's oops. No. There we are. Really? I, I no whatever. sign of him now. Someone's coming. Oh, I 
don't know if he's gonna come back around the corner after that. Oh, there he is. Don't underestimate us again. I don't think he'd be underestimating anyone again. 